Demon Slayer Season 3 Episode 9. Still working. I love this double feature on Tokido. And it's really exciting to me the connection between him and Tanjiro. I think so far in the show, the appearance of the Hashira has been somewhat episodic. It's like one per season or per arc, and they don't tend to stick around. Still hurting from Mugen Train. And then Uzui just kind of uh, effed off <laughs> to bang his hot wives. Here's hoping that Tokido actually becomes a permanent fixture in the show. Episode 9, Miss Hashira Muichiro Tokido, Episode 2. <laughs> Oh, please don't die. <laughs> I feel like I just jinxed him. Now I'm worried. Please behead him. Please behead him. It's definitely not your art. It's inferior. Yes, also your appearance and your voice and your whole your whole thing. I totally agree. Oh, he called you poor. <laughs> I don't think the Hashira make any money. Not that they need it. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a... Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. I know he did not just say Tokido's limbs were short. Wow, he has no business making fun of anyone else's arms. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was projecting a little bit. Let's turn, in, turn from fierce demon battle to playground insults real quick. It's almost like they're getting along. Oh. Oh, hitting him with your art sucks. He just won. Is he shooting piranhas? <laughs> I kind of love how both these are like water themed. Makes for some really beautiful battles. Yeah, it's pretty great. We had a flashback for that. This attack just looks so amazing. It's so great. Please kill him. It'd be so great if he just. <gasps> oh. I was about to say. Some kind of eel. Water snake. It's like the little mermaid. <laughs> That was sort of underwhelming. He transformed into his final form, which was a mermaid without the sexy top half. Give us something. Come on. <laughs> this dialogue is so bizarre. It's just having... Childish spat. There we go. There we go. Stop doing that. What kind of alchemy is this? Why is that smile so off-putting? I guess because this is what it's masking. How long was he lying there? Imagine just being stuck there like that. Who else do we know like this? I think they did his backstory so well. It does a lot for his character, especially juxtaposed with his sort of silence, his calm nature. At a glance from early episodes, you might think that he's kind of just spaced out and disaffected by his life as a demon slayer, but now it seems more like a, a mask for what he's really feeling, or just pure focus. I love how little he's moving in response. Something big just happened. I don't know what it was. Something huge just happened. Is he dead? He might be dead. He's hitting him, right? Suddenly, Tokido feels like the one to be afraid of. He's activating his horror movie form. Please tell me that just got him. 
Oh my god. Please tell me the neck is enough. <laughs> Sound effect with that extra comical. Please let it be real. Please let it be real. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Finally, they don't let them like... Oh my god. Thank you. Finally, someone does that. Finally, they keep slicing them after them after they think they're dead. Yes, we've all heard enough of this demon. Goodbye. Leave. I 100% agree. Could not agree more. Just for that one action, Tokido's ranking in my heart just went up like a thousand, a thousand percent. And then a taunting mid-card screen. And Love Hashiro. Where is she? Where are you? Holy crap, that was amazing. This is only the second time we've seen a upper rank demon be killed, right? And this time, he just did it by himself. In that miss sequence, I felt fear for the demon. That's not something you feel very often in Demon Slayer. Now I'm just imagining potential future team-ups with him and Tanjiro. Two descendants of, of Sun Breathing, who are both clutch, for lack of a better word. <laughs> Especially now that Tanjiro has given him some purpose and kind of reawakened some of this, these memories and put it towards service of others. It's like our foundation of greatness has just escalated in such a key way. <laughs> I think he's found it. Damn, what a badass speech given so so calmly. There's a famous saying that goes something like, he who knows his why can withstand any how. I think there's more to it than just this explanation, but killing the demons out of revenge seemed to have been a great motivation for him and got him this far. I think Tanjiro helped round it out to make it more purposeful or just bigger in general. It's still the same mission. It's still killing the demons and Muzan, but revenge as the underlying motivation for that goal is short-lived, has too fixed of an endpoint, and in a sense makes you emotionally dependent and stuck to the enemies and the, the events, as opposed to that sort of service goal, which is non-ending, freer, in the sense that it's sort of self-directed and independent and not blinding. Speaking of having two feet stuck on the ground, this event works really well as a battle. It's really cool, but it also works as kind of a maturation of his character, taking the events of his childhood and sort of turning a corner on them so that they're they're there to serve him. They're things he can draw on for strength, but isn't just kind of a blind slave to his own emotions. Better than ever. Yeah, this was an intense side quest. I mean, he was poisoned and all that. He better be okay. I'll be so pissed. I'll be so pissed. I think we've established at this point that if he's... Yeah, he's not coming. You, what? Weren't you dead? Didn't you die? Did you move your heart too? Did he learn the Inosuke technique? We saw you get impaled. He said casually. Uh, DSX Talisman. I don't know, I saw that sword go all the way in. Aw, uh, makes me so sad. But I love the connection there. We're building something. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me now. No, I was... No, we were building something. We were... Him and Tanjiro teaming up. Leave this... Spiritual plane. Go away from the light. Seeing Renegoku's face turn from sweet and charming to horrifying. No, don't cut away. I'm just gonna pretend that's a fake out for now. How am I supposed to enjoy these awesome battle scenes when I'm worried about Tokido? Why do they take away everything that I love? He's got the combined powers of all the those little demon pieces. And that's what goes number one attack, kicking. Even guns, not working. Wait, what happened to Tokido? Stop, you can't. Oh, what? Damn. Yeah, I've heard that one from Tanjiro before. Yeah, yeah, clearly. He's combining everything, and he got stronger. And you can't divide and conquer anymore. He got errand. Yeah, but he went in intact. That might end up benefiting Tanjiro, or not, or he just gets smushed. I was expecting him to like burst out.
Yeah, right. Oh, there you are, finally. Looking as amazing as ever. Hopefully she knows where Tanjiro is. <laughs> Inside that, all the pieces of neck she just slashed. She got him. Get it? Cutting it close? Okay, <laughs> sure, whatever you say. She's such a breath of fresh air. With her cheery disposition, unlike everyone else except for Tanjiro. They're a good pair. She doesn't seem phased at all. <laughs> they put so much into this and I love it. So elegant. So not cute at the same time. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun. But what the hell happened to Tokido? Spence killing me. He better be alright. I don't think he's alright. But he better be alright. You know, part of it is, as good as it was, I mean, let's say he's dead, right? Let's say he sacrificed himself. It's a full arc. It's amazing. What hurts me so much is the potential loss, if that's the case. Because don't you want to see what that kind of Muichiro can do? Having found that kind of confidence, having killed an upper-ranked demon by himself? Like, I want the highest form of glory that I can. And just the, the thought of him teaming up with Tanjiro is... It just makes me so excited. It would be heartbreaking, double heartbreaking for his loss beyond just his death. This show loves to do this though. This show loves to like give people resolutions, spiritual achievements as they die. Why can't we have spiritual development and live? Yeah, where are you? What are you doing? <laughs> right? <laughs> Self-aware. Sorry, you just we didn't have the, the writing budget for you two. So need to and you just get the lost chapters. <laughs> I love how they didn't bother with the Taisho era secret. <laughs> I guess it's Tanjiro's thing.